Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Abbas Ali, your orthopedics faculty with Maro, and it's an honor to have Dr. Grishma with us. Congratulations, Dr. Grishma. It's such an amazing rank, and I'm, I'm sure that you must be so happy right now. Can you share this feeling with us? Yes, sir. I'm very much happy, and more than that, I'm very overwhelmed with this result because it was totally unexpected. Uh, I usually, I didn't expect Where this. are you from? Which college are you from? Which year, which batch are you from? Uh, I'm from Kerala and I have studied uh, from uh, Government Medical College, Tiruvannandapuram. And I am a 2018 batch student. So I completed my internship last year on Ju June. Yeah, so when did you start your preparation with Maro? Uh, actually, I subscribed to Maro during my uh, college days, during my third year itself. Mm -hmm. So during that time, I used to uh, watch the videos. But that was mainly focused on uh, understanding the concepts. Uh, and after the internship only, I started uh, solving the two banks and uh, test series. And uh, new PG application actually started after internship only. OK, so you would say that uh, the pivotal moment in your preparation was after internship when you were relaxed and you had more time. So you're saying that you watched videos in your third year and fourth year, and you prepared your notes after watching those videos, right? So did you solve the question bank also during the third and fourth year, or was it after, inter after internship? I used to solve some question banks, but uh, not in a systematic way. Whenever I used to feel like, I used to solve. But uh, no, actually, I focus more on the video and the content rather than the questions during my college days. OK, so it was building concepts, understanding things, taking you know leisure pace, and uh, trying to become yeah familiar with the topic right so when you started with your question bank after internship what was your approach with question banks how many modules would you do uh, what was your typical day with the question bank uh initially i used to uh study the subject the notes of the subject uh thoroughly and after that i used to attend the question banks uh okay. then i used to uh after solving the question banks and previous topics i used to go for the subject wise test series uh so that what I used to do with each subject. So, I mean, once you've revised the notes of the subject, let's say, for example, you have done ENT, you would do the question bank of the ENT, you would do the previous year yes. questions of the ENT, and then you would also do the subject wise test of the ENT. Yeah, that uh, occasionally I used to do the subject wise test, but I used to do them uh, regularly during my revision phase. The subject test series I used to mainly do during my uh, revision phase. So not in the, in the beginning. So in the beginning, it was just question bank and the uh, previous year questions for that subject. Now, how did you find the question bank, the explanations in the question bank? Yes, sir. Actually, I found the question bank really, really nice for the preparation because uh, we get an entire idea of the subject after solving the question bank. I used to solve, not entirely, I used to cover uh, as much as possible, the questions as much as possible. And uh, the explanations, those uh, questions I know. Uh, I used to. Do, I usually don't need the long explanation completely for every question, but only those questions that I feel like this is a uh, question uh, that need to uh, understand better. Like you need to know the depth. Then I used to read the entire notes. Otherwise, I used to just skip between the questions. Right. So you would read the question. If you were able to answer it, you knew the concept from the notes, you would just move ahead. Yeah. And if there was something that was a little yeah. tricky and confusing, you would go in depth and try to understand. The explanation yeah. would suffice then for I, that. Yeah, then I'll read the complete explanation. And that was more than enough. So the explanation is very, uh, it's very actually very nice to get the entire idea of the topic from the explanation itself. Uh, Absolutely. It's not only the answer, it also talks about why the other options are not the answers in the question. Very well. So as yeah, I was okay. talking to you before this interview, uh, you said that while you were revising, in order to concise the notes for revision, you did one very unique thing. Can you tell me what you did? Yeah, whenever I uh, read from the main notes, I used to write down those points which I tend to put it here uh, into a separate notebook, into a separate paper or something. Uh, then I used to read that the next time. Rather than reading the entire note again, I used to read on that small book uh, the next time and then solve the Q band again. And then also, if there is some doubt, I used to refer back to my old original notes. Otherwise, I used to focus mainly on my uh, concise notes. 
right? So it's essentially your notes. And when you sat down to revise them, you'd keep a page or a notebook handy and add the information that you felt was yeah. tricky, confusing, and you know, factual. Yeah, well, it was, so yeah. it was a baby notebook of your original notebook that helped you revise faster. Yeah, so you first read the baby yeah. book and then do the questions. And if time or if you felt the need, you would go back to the regular notes for revision. Yes, sir. That's, when would you do the Hello. Hello. Yeah. So when would you do the subject wise test? Subject wise test, I started uh, once after completing all the main, main notes, I started the revision cycle. So during the revision, I used to do the subject test series. Okay. Can you can you say if there was any difference between the questions that you have encountered in the question bank for a subject and the questions you have encountered in the subject wise series? Uh, I felt uh, the subject test series uh, it's a more comprehensive approach to get the uh, one kind of a 360 degree approach of that particular subject. Uh, question bank is more specific, and uh, to get an entire idea of the subject, like where we stand, uh, it's better to do the subject test series. Absolutely. So, for example, if you are doing, say, ortho and you're doing upper limb trauma, uh, you will have very focused upper limb fracture. So you knew that the option would have to be something in upper limb fracture. Whereas if you do the orthopedic subject wise series, it would be any question from orthopedic. So it's like a step up in terms yeah. of comprehension yeah. of the subject. Uh, perfect. Perfect. What about grand test, Dr. Krishma? When did you start uh, taking grand tests? Uh, I, did, I started doing grand tests after completing my uh, major main notes. So that was uh, from January this year onwards, I started giving grand tests, maybe once in a week or once in two weeks. Uh, so every Sunday, I used to do a grand test. And that day, I used to completely devote to my grand test. I, used, I did not study anything else on that day. Uh, so I'll do the uh, grand test in the first half of the day, then take a break, and then used to revise it later, half of the day. So you would review the whole grand test? Yeah, I, I could probably, uh, yeah, I could review the whole grand test. Uh, those questions I know, I used to just leave it. And those questions that needed uh, some explanation, I used to bookmark it and review later when I'm studying that particular subject. I used to uh, refer back to these bookmark questions again. Okay. So once that Sunday is over, that grand test is over, and you go back to your cycle of revision. Revision again, yes, sir. Yeah. And what about the next grant test? So what would you do in specifically before the next grant test, hoping to improve your score? Uh, if I feel uh, that any subject is, uh, if I'm weak in any of the subject uh, from the previous grant test performance, I used to read the notes uh, of that particular subject on the uh, morning of that next grant test day. So if I'm mm -hmm. doing a grant test uh, today, like I'll look better which subject I'm using and that note only I used to read. So one subject or you would only pick one week subject and read before the grand test. Yeah, I, I usually read like that. All right, perfect. So that is a very good strategy, right? So you go to the grand test. And before you give it, you review the analysis of the previous grand test and see which subject you were weak in on that and quickly revise that before it so it becomes stronger. And hopefully by doing this, yeah. you recovered and revised all the subjects that you were weak in eventually and made them all your strong subjects. Yeah, now, what think, about... uh, like... yeah please tell I me. I feel the step-by-step -step approach is uh, more suited for me because I can't deal with all the subjects at once. So uh, doing things small by small actually helps me. Right. So in your grand test series that you've been giving, uh, did you ever hit a plateau where your score was stuck and was not improving? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my score was stuck between one in the 150 range. Uh, uh -huh. Even in the in, uh, last phase of the uh, last phase of the preparation, my score was stuck in the 150 range, 150 to 160. And uh, very hardly I used to cross 150 range. So uh, initially I used to feel demotivated, but I just kept on giving grants. I didn't. Uh, I thought it was uh, studying new questions as well. So I used mm -hmm. to get uh, aware of new questions rather than focusing on the number of correct. I used to uh, take it as a chance to learn more questions. In fact, 
अच्छा ओके सो एनीथिंग स्पेसिफिक दैट यू डिड टू यू नो इंप्रूव योर स्कोर बियॉन्ड दैट प्लेटू दैट यू वर हिटिंग और वर यू स्टक एट दैट फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम आई इन फैक्ट आई वाज स्टक फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम इन दैट प्लेस इटसेल्फ इनिशियल माय ग्रैंड स्कोर वाज 130 देन इट वेंट टू 140 एंड फाइनली इन द 150 रेंज आई वाज स्टक इन द 150 रेंज फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम uh i used to uh, keep on reviewing the uh, revising the notes that was what i did i did multiple revisions of my notes so uh, and i could see improvement because uh, those questions i couldn't get the previous time from that same topic if any question came the next time i used to uh, i was able to solve it so was it there a time where you were frustrated ki your scores are not improving you are revising you are finishing notes you are revising them over and over again your score is still stuck was there a point of frustration yes definitely so there was a point of frustration uh, but uh, i just kept going uh, so i would take some uh, break maybe a day or two break uh, then i used to come back again to the preparation phase perfect perfect now I is there one thing that you right definitely i mean you have to take a break relax come back more energetic now was there is there one thing that you wish you started earlier or you know would have done differently in terms of preparation for this exam um uh, maybe uh, i could have uh, kept a book for gp review or something that i could have done uh, because uh, after every gp uh, i could have get a set of questions which i usually tend to get wrong that i wish i could have done i right. think that so could have the book, book of gt would have helped you yeah that no might have helped me to uh, break the plateau but i didn't do that right perfect is there any particular advice that you would like to give your juniors who are starting their preparation now in terms of particularly uh, for focusing on this exam need pg exam uh my First advice would be, uh, uh, even if you start after your internship, you are not actually late. You still have time uh, for the preparation because it's not the content that actually matters. It's about how you do the questions and how you are able to solve the uh, test that actually matter more than the content uh, and the duration of time. So uh, don't feel that you are late or you are. Uh, left behind in the race uh, and i think gt and uh, revision are the main key elements in the preparation phase i think so after you have completed your uh, main main notes and you have a good idea of the concept then the revision and the gt are the play the most pivotal role i feel so. okay perfect so after you have finished your content at least once and have some grasp of the concept it is all about revising again and again and giving grants weekly or biweekly to assess where you stand not, and grasp yes sir it's not about how much content you uh, get it's about how you use that in different questions excellent excellent so it was so nice talking to you dr krishma thank you for sharing yeah. your in depth strategy for preparation and how you utilize the question bank the subject wise test and the grand test series with their explanations uh, for the preparation one last question i would like to ask based on the difficulty of the exam and the scores that you have got uh, how would you say that the uh, grand tests on the maro platform uh, mimic the actual exam that you have faced uh, it's actually uh, the questions are actually uh... very sim uh, very similar pattern to that of the main exam uh and uh, i think from the i have also done the previous years papers by looking into that papers i seen that uh, the maro gps are more or less very similar to the pattern of questions asked in mains so you get an experience of the real exam while doing the gp Thank you. Thank you very much Dr. Rishma. I wish you all the best and more success to you in the future. Thank you.